Monday, September 14th. Today we're going to talk about impossible situations. All of us have experienced them, one kind or another. Today's passage is an impossible situation that is bona fide persecution for believing in God. Isaiah chapters 36 and 37. In the 14th year of King Hezekiah, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came up against all the fortified cities of Judah and took them. Hear the word of the great king, the king of Assyria. Thus says the king, do not let Hezekiah deceive you, for he will not be able to deliver you. Do not let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord by saying, the Lord will surely deliver us. Do not listen to Hezekiah. Beware lest Hezekiah mislead you, saying, the Lord will deliver us. As soon as King Hezekiah heard it, he tore his clothes, covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliakim to the prophet Isaiah. When the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, Isaiah said to them, Send to your master, thus says the Lord. Do not be afraid because of the words that you have heard, which the young men of the king of Assyria have reviled me. Behold, I will put a spirit in him, so that he shall hear a rumor and return to his own land, and I will make him fall by the sword in his own land. Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel enthroned above the cherubim, you are the God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. You've made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. And hear all the words of Sennacherib, which he has sent to mock the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations in their lands and have cast their gods into fire. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they were destroyed. So now, O Lord our God, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone are the Lord. This is such an important lesson that it appears three times in the Bible, here as well as 2 Kings 18 and 2 Chronicles 32. Taunted and mocked for their faith, this challenge was real. Do you really think trusting in God's going to do you any good? God's people have been taunted this way throughout history. It must have seemed to be an impossible situation. No other nation had ever been delivered out of the hand of the king of Assyria. In response to the threat, Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord and he prayed, O Lord Almighty, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. Now, O Lord, deliver us so that all the kingdoms on earth may know that you alone are God. What I am about to say may sound simplistic, but hear me out. When you are in an impossible situation, pray. Lord, the name of Jesus is no longer honored in our society. Pour out a spirit of prayer on your people. Hear our prayer. And God, deliver us from this growing spiritual crisis that this viral pandemic has birthed. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you feel like you are in an impossible situation, pray.